yourself. No, that's not. That's not. What do you mean? So I don't make any noise. Okay. <laughs> update on where we are at with the house. Yeah, furniture, houseboat, everything. So we'll start from the kitchen. So um, what we have, apart from the food that Phil is cooking, is all our appliances out. We have our Instant Pot, we brought our Ninja, and yeah, everything in the kitchen is kind of set up. Um, we have plants. I bought lots of plants. I bought two more today, actually. Um, but I need to get more actual like vases, so for now they're here. Um, yeah, so, and this is the living room. Ta-da! Ta-da! So that's great, because we've got this new it's couch. It's great. It's great. Great, because it's great. <laughs> so that's our new couch, which is great, and new cushions as well. It's really comfy. Do you want to do a demonstration? Mm. <laughs> it's really comfy, isn't it? Yeah. No one has slept on it. Oh, well, actually, Matt has slept Matt on it, technically. Without the... Without the extension. Place, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it's really, really, really nice. Very comfy at night, snuggling in and watching TV, which is up there. What else? I can't remember what well, we got. The cuttings of the outside. Oh? Huh? Because you're collecting those off cuts. I'm not collecting off cuts. I'm no, trying to please. revive. Well, no, I'm trying to grow. Um, grow them. Yeah, revive. Not revive. It's called to propagate. You get cuttings from another plant, mm -hmm. like uh, one of those, and then you grow another one. You make make it grow roots. Yeah, well, like worms. So yeah, I'm trying to propagate some ivy that we have in the mooring outside here, which is like full of ivy. English ivy, I think it's called English ivy. Anyway, we've ordered the um, table and chairs, which will be arriving soon. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go here. here. It's gonna go here. Because these only go out so far. Yeah, so, we so don't just. Want it to be too close. Yeah, we're getting table um, made. made because it's, yeah, it's, it's really hard better. to get right, yeah. the right um, dimension. So yeah, this is the living room, and now I'll take you to the bedroom. Take you to the bedroom. <laughs> so yeah, because basically, well, the second bedroom here we haven't done anything, just storage right now. So yeah, there's nothing to show. Then we've got oh, the bathroom with still the same. We only got plants down yeah, there. Yeah, we like the bathroom. I get more. Uh, Walk-in closet here. Basically, we're gonna get a curtain. Kind of one of those retractable kind of poles that can kind of just sit there. And this is the bedroom. So it's we have it's finally a bed. We have a bed, which is great. Mm -hmm. And we have Actually. a few plants. Well, we're missing bedside tables, obviously, uh, which we bought and they're getting, they're already been, they've already been delivered. We're going to pick them up. From Damien. Yeah. Damien. On Sunday. Um, and that's it, literally. Like we've got just the bed plants and we've got a duvet set which is the best thing in the world yeah like being hugged by a furry polar bear Ash back. i just need to show you something so we don't have much in this bedroom still but the best thing about this bedroom right now is this um duvet it's a furry duvet set that we found for 22 pounds and I thought it's pretty tacky maybe but I'm telling you it is the softest warmest comfiest duvet cover of the world like literally sleeping while you're being hugged by polar bears yeah it's my idea of heaven End of flashback. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, that's the update. Um, I think that's all for now. The next morning. 
I am making a coffee while Phil is up on the roof practicing knots. <laughs> so, no, he's out there. What is he doing? Oh, yeah, he's practicing knots. Trying to practice the knots. I'm not very good at it, it depends. I'm using this brick to like pretend it's a mooring pin. Obviously okay. mooring pins are a lot more narrow. I can't I can't practice with the rings or the front because I don't want to run the risk of <laughs> the boat floating away. Drifting away, okay. So I'm using I'm using the middle rope, the midline, but I'm just practicing this like this first one. So I think this is the easiest one that I've learned if you've got like kind of like a bollard or um, some sort of like pin. You can kind of like <laughs> I don't know, like Let boaters, me see. boaters please please correct me if I'm wrong. Please help so, us. Oh man, Th this is gonna be real ugly. You can kind of like go around, easy go around knots. Oh gosh, no, let's, let's take more rope. So you can kind of go around twice. Okay. And then to kind of secure it. And then to lock it off, you kind of do a reverse loop and then you feed feed it through, you pull it in, that's one. Oh I see. Kind of reverse again. No. Embarrassing. Fuck. My boat has helped us. <laughs> Sent. Yeah. Uh, like a ring like that. Come over, and then you can kind of like pull it again. I see. Does that thing have a name? I think there's a half hitch. That's the only one I kind of know. But can you show the one that? Oh, Simon. Taught. Simon taught us. That's pretty easy. I don't know. So you can kind of go around, and then you do. You like, okay, I'll do it because you don't know. Oh no, two loops. Right? Two loops, and then one goes behind the other. It's really difficult because I don't know how to do it left handed. Just, 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 what do you want, a fucking medal? Kind of Gosh. Like left handed boaters, please help. Yeah, and then Send you go, help. You go around like that, so you kind of, one goes under the other or on top, and then you kind of pop it on there. And then you yeah, can, I think you did it. Yeah, and then it's kind of, see there, it's kind of like, it's a knot. over itself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's and that's a really good like simple one so that's while you're in the lock yeah it, you see like if you press down on that it's pretty secure but then you can quickly release it release it so it's just a physical practice you just need to kind of get used to it good work tonight so you're probably going to need to learn how to do these knots yeah that's fine jump off thread it through the mooring ring or the mooring pin maybe double up and see that, uh, that this one at the front I think most of them will probably because it depends on the length of the rope but you might need to double up go through the loop come round wrap it go through the loop come round and then you can tie it off okay yeah we'll see how that goes okay so go around yeah. a couple of times okay do that yeah. flip it yeah go there yeah lock it off Lock it. You've got to go around one more time with the working rope. Ooh, true. Forgot about that. You and then to... underneath. And again. There you go. No, it's not. You didn't flip it. None of you are working as a team. One, two. Oh yeah. That one goes yeah, underneath. That one yeah. And that's. What's this called? God knows. Some sort of figure of eight. <laughs> okay. Double figure of eight. So we can just close it off. Yeah. So we've got it kind of there. And I think you can go under. Good job. That'll do. Yeah. Okay. We shouldn't go anywhere. But I still need to practice and watch more videos. Don't, you don't use this as a... <laughs> don't use this as a video tutorial. Just ignore these pin boats. Later. We went to the garden centre. 
So we got plants. Well, we've got more plants. So Phil says I don't say plants properly. You said it right then. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> typical. I say plants. Yeah. But you said it's not correct. It's correct depending on where you are. Can you imagine being married to this guy? I mean, you know, I've never seen anybody behave like that. But I don't want you, I want you to be like me, like some Plants. English. Okay, plants. we got, we bought plants. Love, not plants. <laughs> All right, we bought plants. So these are the plants we got. <laughs> a nice dragon tree here. It looks great. Look at all these swells here. Then we've got, it's a devil's ivy, yes. Devil's ivy, one kind, one type here. And then one more here, a devil's ivy, another one. She's so pretty. Then got a Boston leaf. I'm not wrong. Yeah, Boston leaf, is that what it's called? No, Boston fern. There you go. And then I've got a little succulent here. Succulent. Mm -hmm. A crassola. Crassola? Whatever. So yeah, um, they are going somewhere in the house. Day two. Bimba, so tell me what's going on. So we were on our way, we are on our way to the marina to do the pump out and get fresh water and fuel. But there's a narrow boat down there that's like to constructing it. the canal. Yeah, I don't know if you can see down there. So our friend James that is navigating with us is going to check what's going on. But for now we're just like chilling. Yeah, by, we're just chilling. James just is like going to find out up. what the situation is. So I'm just holding the boat. Yeah, just holding the boat in place. So a little update. I in the distance I see James kind of climbing aboard. I think it's kind. I think it's come unmoored, and uh, it, I'm guessing that James is pulling it and he's gonna remoor the uh, the boat, like um, to attach maybe the front rope. It looks like the front ropes have come loose and uh, just it's just drifted away. That's what it looks like, but we'll find out for sure. Oh, a little drama. So yeah, there was a boat um, that was that came undone the front, and uh, it was obstructing the canal. So now uh, our friend James that is with us, he uh, managed to go and get it back on the mooring. So now the canal is um, unobstructed, and we can go to the marina. We got the water, we did the pump out, um, and now we are on our way back. And Captain Phil is back there. I don't know if you can see him navigating. guys just send us questions whatever you can think about just ask send a question or ask in the comments or I don't know whatever send a um, pigeon or whatever you want to send basically a QA and a yeah I means a QA. and a and this is 
Remy. Anything else?